Hey guys, so as you can see, I'm walking. Uh, walking home from work. Well, not necessarily walking home. I'm walking to at t which is about, driving wise, is about two, three minutes away. Maybe, depending on lights. Hey, look at this. Look at this. This is my company. I My building is across the way. But you can see a train rolls through every once in a while. Isn't that kind of cool? Luckily, all right, so, see that building right there? Yeah, I think that's the main building, but my building's on the opposite side of it, and it's called Specialty Foods. So it's like where, we hand, uh, one line is where we hand pack like moose munch and chocolate covered cherries and uh, chocolate covered blueberries and etc. All right. Uh, there's also where we do some hand packing of um, just different items. Uh, we have machine operators that bag moose munch. Uh, those of you, whoop, sorry, those of you that know that what it is, it's just basically glorified popcorn. It's really good. Some of it I don't like too much because, you know, dark chocolate, and I don't, I'm not a big fan of dark chocolate. Um, but they have a couple different kinds, or quite a few different kinds. They recently came out with uh, Butterfinger Moose Munch and Bunch of Crunch Moose Munch, which is, if any of you guys know, you know, like Butterfingers, it's just popcorn with Butterfingers, and same with Bunch of Crunch. They also came up with this, um, it's kind of new or stuff. I, I've only seen it twice, I think. And it's um, it's called birthday cake. And I've never tried it. But today I, I was helping out another person, or sorry, helping out another department. It was the candy packing area. I'm not sure exactly what department it is. Um, but they, we're making the birthday cake moose munch and oh my gosh it smelled so good oh <laughs> it makes me want to go buy some moose munch but kind of need money for that and we're trying to save up as much money as we can to buy another car um go on vacation next year because you know everyone deserves to have a vacation and then the biggest uh thing that we want to buy is a house and our plan for that is like within like the next two or so years we're gonna see where we're at um like how much we've saved in the next two years and uh see how much of a down payment we can put down hopefully we can get a decent amount even with me trying to buy another car i'm contemplating on if i should buy another car or if i should just tough it out for like at least another year and wait till like next year's tax return or something but we'll get to that more later. Um, also, anyways, um, so I've been helping out with um, another department today and tomorrow I'm gonna have to do the same thing. And at the end of the day, we're cleaning up the, uh, the line because you can't just leave this stuff on the, on the tables and whatnot. By the way, that's what you're hearing is, you know, cars going by. So, There, I hope that's a little bit better. Um, anyways, I'm helping out another department and we're cleaning up the line because, well, if you leave chocolate and popcorn and anything else laying about, you are just inviting, um, sorry, I'm at a loss for words, it's been a long day. You are just inviting rodents to come and just chill with you guys. So, that's why we did that if i'm not looking directly at you this is why i'm walking trying to figure out exactly because right now there's no path i'm kind of just walking so and i'm trying to do it safely because watch car <laughs> so i'm trying to do it as safely as i possibly can now that i'm getting to some flat ground and a little bit away from 
the cars, see? Anyways. So I'm about halfway to 18T and I've only been on here for about five minutes. So not bad so far. I mean, I've kind of picked up the pace a little bit and the traffic's not too bad. So I'm able to actually go through with the breeze. Whew, I am tired. All right, so my plan for today, obviously I'm walking to 18T. I'm gonna steal my boyfriend's car. Uh, I have some clothes in the car where I can go to the gym because that's my goal is to start going out to the gym more and start toning some of this fat into muscle <laughs> and eating healthier and I'm not going to call it a resolution because resolutions almost always get broken within like two weeks of starting it. So this is going to be my way of life. I'm going to start eating healthier. I get back on the keto diet. Uh, I've been slowly progressing us to go back, but like I said, slowly. Um, so I'm gonna be working out. So far, it's every other day. And we're gonna eating a little bit healthier. We haven't been eating out much. And just, you know, regular stuff like that. So that's how today, and that's how this upcoming hour is gonna work gonna go to the gym oh I'm sorry guys my fingers in the way I'm gonna go to the gym and then afterwards I'm gonna go pick up my kids from my in-laws at the next town over which by driving it's only 10 minutes so it's not bad and then obviously go home I'm gonna cook dinner for the family and make sure the house is all picked up because hey we you know you gotta live in a clean house I mean you don't have to but it's nice to live in a clean house so so recap, go for the day, walk to at t check, take the car, go to the gym, pick up the kids, cook dinner, and while I'm cooking dinner, clean the house, and play with the kids. Then, I'm gonna go and make sure everyone's bathed, me, the kids, whatever, and try to get into bed before 8.30. Hopefully. Last night I didn't get to sleep until about like 10. So it gave me less than 8 hours of sleep. So tired this morning. <laughs> Anyways, um, wish me luck and hopefully I get all the stuff done well ahead of time. So, that's good news. <laughs> Anyways, I will talk to you all later. I hope you all have a good day. And I hope you're having a wonderful start to this New Year's. Alright. See you later. Bye.